So today we're going to get our 69th Chimps badge. As of right now, we're missing four expert map black borders, and I want to get the 69th one right now. That map is going to be Dark Dungeons. It is probably the easiest of the remaining uh, four extra maps over here. Yeah, that's this still is probably going to be uh, one of my hardest ones yet. Also because, like, as of the version I'm doing this, version 41, they've already nerfed, like, Geraldo a good amount and all the other usual meta stuff. So it's kind of bad time for me to be attempting this, but hey, that makes it all the cooler if we can pull it off. I will let you know, though, I did already do a couple practice runs in Challenge Editor. So I did technically complete a red border run in Challenge Editor, but obviously black is so much different because you have to beat everything in one attempt and one attempt only. So for starters, there's very few things that work in the early game of Dark Dungeons Gyms. You have to do a three dart start, one on each dungeon. Around seven here, um, I will buy a dart monkey for lane number three because this dart monkey is going to leak. So some like right over here near the exit. And see, we got the one red. Uh, this round, I need to buy uh, quick shots. And then for round nine, another dart monkey. This one in the middle lane. And yes, this dart monkey, actually, I think it leaks. So you have to activate the trap. Uh, if you didn't know, there's two traps on dark dungeons. You can tell by the spikes there. When you activate it, it stuns and pops balloons. So this is necessary. And now for round 10, we gotta even it all out with another dart monkey on lane 1. And from here, we can save for Geraldo. Should be able to beat this without using any of the traps. They have like a, I think it's a 1 minute cooldown. And whoop. That was scary. Usually that thing doesn't leak, but um, I had to do Geraldo on the right lane. So I can save this for round 14 or 15. But just preemptively, since the spikes uh, never really time out. We'll do one spike on each lane for round 14. I don't think I need to activate the, um, the traps. Just because they're better off being used for round 15. The harder round. Yeah, we'll leak another green and a blue here. That's alright. And then in the middle of this round, let me get a turret. Just because there's no trap in the middle. This gets in a straightaway, and I'll activate the traps when pinks come in. So wait for it. Uh, now? And now. Actually, I think I have to buy this in the middle round. I shouldn't have started it so early. But let me do this on lane 1, because I only have two darts here. And I think I want to shoot here for each lane. And then the turn on lane 3 will be here. And now I'm going to go for a druid. Because the druid will be built into a druid of the jungle. Which will be able to tackle all three lanes. But first we probably have to drop a lot of extra stuff to be able to uh, get there. This lane is looking sketchy. Yep, I'll replenish the spikes. It went down to 1. Let's see. Uh, so lane 3 will now get a submarine. And I'll sound strong. Just because... And, up, oh, I'm dying to lane... Oh, I, I don't like this. Normally, my shoot turret doesn't whiff so badly. But, I had to respike again. So, seeing that, let me drop a tax shooter, because this can be upgraded to an overdrive come to late game. But it's going to be a big part of the strategy. Uh, let me just watch out if I want to activate. These rounds are the rounds I should activate. Oof, holy, that was clutch. I'm not worried if I die here, because it's just my first run, but... Still, that was close. We'll just tank the cam on 24. Oh, actually, I should have spiked, but whatever. And if possible, let me see if I can go for the jungle of the druid now. 11.35. Actually, I don't know if I get this by, by the time let's come in. I might have overspent. If that's the case, we're fine. I have a backup plan. But I hope to afford jungle of the druid soon. Uh, let's do some math here. 14.76. Nope, can't do it. So I'm going to need to get this for leds. And I need to draw my alchemist early. This on strong, basically. And I should be okay, right? No need for spikes. Oh, crap. I missed one. Alright, luckily, uh, this thing hits leads. But I exhausted that now for round 30. So if anything gets through on 30 here, well, GG. I actually can afford this mid, mid round 30, right? Or before. Alright, awesome. So we don't have to worry about round 30. But this alchemist can be turned into outbuffing the overdrives. Now, this druid is still RNG. So we have to spike and trap if necessary. But if we don't get unlucky, it should be able to handle. So count upon this thing for 33. We can now afford two jungle druids by 35. So even less chance we die to random RNG. This is my next terror on the list. Spike factory. I'm going to try to put it as high as possible so that the spikes don't land on the bottom. Although I think there's a small chance they do. 
Eventually, I'll turn this into a smart spikes, like Bonapath. But considering the, uh, like, the three simultaneous lands, these are just great for cleanup and reducing the RNG you might run into. So I'm prepared to spike this round if random pinks get through. Let's see. See? It's getting pretty far back there. And, oh, uh, that almost leaked. And yeah, I want to get a factory for every single lane. So lane two next. Now, this one doesn't have any smart spikes because uh, uh, if I put it in the right spot, it'll only see one part of the track. Uh, let's do here. Nice, it hits. And then when the money is there, we'll get a spike over in lane three. But you see, those spikes saved us from having to use items. I might have to... Hang on. Oh, there was no Druid Thorn coming out, so I had to spike that. That should be okay, because I can afford another spike tree on lane three. Actually, do I want to do this right now, though? Or do I want to maybe uh, save money for round 40, just because that's harder? Nah, you know what? I think I won't buy this back to me. I need the $1,000 for round 40, which will come in lane 2, by the way. For those who don't know how this map works. Or are we good? I think we're good. Uh, nope. Actually, we are, we are fine, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. That wasn't going to be used anyway. So $4,000 for this round. That's good. And we'll do two tax bears, okay? And I think I'll pickle one of them just to get more damage in. This is going to be really sketchy, but trust me, for my testing, it barely works. We'll do a Jerry Fire, because this Jerry Fire can now see lane 1 and 2. It's used over walls. And I will glue when the mole pops, which should be around here. And the Druid Jungles should clean up. Like, watch. See? It pops early. Wait, I didn't even need glue. Hm, that was overkill. Well, it's nice you saved $110 there. Now, let me finally get my Spike Factory. Uh, Camos? Uh-oh. I, I had to glue that guy, because I didn't know if it was gonna... Alright. I had a feeling that would happen, because I tried to wait. I thought I could squeeze it a couple of rounds without the camo pod, but I think I need two for this round. Yeah, we're playing it safer than sorry this attempt, so hopefully this um, visibility potion comes back soon. But this should guarantee I don't die to 42, right? Right? Yep, easy. Now this round's really hard, but I'm going to agree with the discount village, trust me. I can't actually get towers with discount, so uh, for this round, I want to say just use traps if Saram's leak. Not even a glue. But this could be risky. I think I'm almost guaranteed to need a... Uh, trap? Where? Or not. Okay, never mind. I was more scared than I should have been. Uh, before that, let me just make sure this reach is nice. But here's what I want to do. I don't use it often in chimps, but never miss is A plus on this map. And also at this point, I'm going to let you in on my strategy here. I'm actually planning to go for a Spectre, Spectre later, even though I've trashed on it for so much. I will have you know it did get that Never Miss buff, which was fairly sizable, but not only that, I don't think it's, like, half bad in the right situation. And I will now do 2-0-3, and yeah, I know there's no Camel Village, that's why we just have to keep giving it Camel Bots throughout the rest of the game. That's how it's gonna be. If I recall correctly, this round's pretty hard, so... Let's... Yep, I have to trap. Double trap. Boom, boom. This is fine because 48 is easy. 49 is hard, but by then... I think I can afford Alk buff on my Never Miss. And I'll just turn this until I get to your 4 to also Alk the... Uh, um, spike Balls eventually. So my goal... I need to afford Spectre before CC3 comes in. Although it's not the end of the world. I think... Uh, I can kind of delay Spectre for a long time. But ideally, I'd like to get it earlier. And then... And thus save uh, money on having to... Spend a moment to draw the items. So now on round 50, mob's gonna start spawning on the very top lane. That, that's what it's for. The alternate mob, mob lane. So I'm gonna go for a attack spear up here. Oh, also, I don't have Jerry Fire anymore. I'm good against this, right? Yeah. So there, there it is, the mob on that lane there. And with the help of that, see how quickly you pop it? Easy. So now we need this for sure, 51. Uh, also, Oh my god, I almost died. How did I not die there? That was... It actually got through the trap before I activated it. Okay, talk about teetering the edge. Now I'm going to go... Finally go back for this thing. I need the fire on the Druid. That's why I was struggling so much. The correct Ace Marker really increases your chances of surviving a certain round. Uh, like... Oh, I don't know if I should have glued there, but... It will stay for several rounds, so... That's not the worst 110 I could have spent. So yeah, I'm trying to save the... 
the 12 more K right now. But if it's already really sketch, I don't know. Maybe upgrade a spec to re-upgrade. Oh, holy crap, I almost died. You know what, for a kid, I think I'll just get the one Pierce to be safe. It's not a big buff, but it'll help. Also, do I camo the druid? And I do, because leads, right. Camo leads come later, 59, so I'm, I, I have to do that if I don't want to risk it. Oh, crap, that's not good. I did the math, and I I can't afford the Spectre if I spend any more items and draw the shop. Like, the money is just barely there, so I mathed wrong. This is bad, but it's not it's not over. As I said, I can delay Spectre for later, but it just wasn't ideal. So if we're now committing to the I messed up, let's get it later strategy, I'm going to spend all my 17k right now. So, Spike Balls, Discount Village here, with Alk Buff, and that's a majority of my money spent. We'll keep on spending as it gets closer to 63. Surely the Spike Balls plus Alk Buff is OP, and I will survive this. Yep, as expected. All signs point toward me using, hang on, Camo. Just make sure the Drew gets it, that's all. Nice. But I probably have to use Glue this round, just to be safe, right? Like, lane 1 and lane 3. Don't bother with lane 2, because lane 2 is OP. I probably overspent on lane uh, 2, but that's fine. Uh, for this, though, I want to go for Spike Balls, of course. 302. So that I can target... Uh, choose to target which side. But I shouldn't need any uh, babysitting here. Right? Yes, especially with the glue. Wave 2. Uh, don't forget, I can use this. But I shouldn't have to. Final wave... Uh, I'll just use- I'll just use it to be safe. Okay, we still have the left one. I think I need to short my mob popping on the right side now. So let's go ahead and drop an alchemist for this texture. And 64 should be easy, right? Yeah, half mobs are good now. I should be okay here, right? Uh, wait a minute. I'm dead. What? Well, that means I need alp buff. That was- that's as close as you could get to dying without actually dying. I know the 70s are easy, but I think as it stands, I can still only afford Spectre at like round 78, 79 if I don't spend anything else, so... Still sketchy. There's camos this round, so I will replenish on this guy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I have to use it over here. Sheesh. Okay. I don't like this, though. The fact that only half the spikes work on, well, part of it. So let's try... Okay, far targeting puts it right on top of the trap, but... That's probably better at just making sure... All the spikes are used up before I die. Because he's on 65. Half the spikes were going on the wrong the wrong spot. Camo fortified rams. Up, oh, that's leaking. I have to spike there. This is not... Not pretty. I didn't want to go for a, a spike ball on this guy. Sorry, lane 3. You're the... Uh, you're the neglected lane. But it's something we had to do. Because that, that lane won't be active at all past round 80. Or at least not very much. This round is one round where you could very, very easily die. So, I'm watching carefully. I think I might need to spike this lane. If too many spike balls. Yep. I have to. Uh, that's not good. Should I just glue this part? I think I have to. With a BFB here or not? Nah? Okay, no, but... Sheesh. Listen, I don't want to do any for 76, but I think I should just glue. But I need to save glues for 78, that's the problem. I think maybe one. Okay? And we should be okay for the rest. Totally. No, I can't. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. GG. Yeah, I figured. Alright, so this next attempt, I want to try to afford Spectre so that I don't have to deal with that. I think I could probably not... I don't know why I bought a 100 spec. That was a waste of money. For one. I wonder if I can maybe not do a Shui turret on lane 1. But let me see. Yeah, it's not that bad, right? It's only 3 L. Yeah, okay. We can just take that. Because I'm getting Druid here, which means that... That turret probably doesn't do much. So no Pickle on the other taxpayer. Yeah. Perfect timing. I can afford at most a glue. Yeah. I have to, I have to. Why does that still not work? I don't get it. We're dead. Come on. I'm playing as if this one's over, by the way. Holy crap. Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this strategy. It does not even make it to 62. Thanks. Don't don't use any of these, please. Thank you. Are you ki How is that not enough? I just want to do everything in my power not to lose, so uh, here's what. This is not just for 76, but just for the later rounds. Uh, Jerry fire, so it hits lane 1. And I'll camo pot so that this actually beats the 78 camo wave. So maybe I should try... 
I really should try one glue this round. Yellow. No glue, no glue on this side. Just spike trap it. And we are good. Nice, PB. Took long enough to get back here. Um, Is there anything else I want to buy? I don't think so. Oh, put this back on far. I feel like we have so much excess money too. You know what? I'm spending more money this, just, just to survive. I really don't want to take any risks. So this will clean up the balloons exiting up here too. Maybe even a drop pick off I want to. So close again in 78 so that it lands on left. I think I'll just do the same thing like I did last time. Oh, actually, glue's still alive on this side. Uh, maybe I won't glue, re-glue yet. But I like the trick. I like the trick of just using the uh, dungeon. The dungeon trap. I also did testing, and you can get two of these in, in the same round. Pretty awesome, need to say. So, use this now. Uh, and clutch up on the right side, please. Uh, yep, okay. Camo, camo, camo. Oh my god. I forgot to replace the, the spikes. Can I salvage this? Yes, okay. Thank god. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I should re-glue. Re-glue both lanes. Lane 1, lane 3. This is so sketchy because I have no camo. I'm scared about this, guys. Pray for the best. Middle. Good. Right. Spike. Left. Spike. Nice. Saving 25k has never been harder. I'll just play 79 because I think we're fine, right? Please. There we go. Yacht the Spectre, guys. So it's not guaranteed, unlike the other uh, hard black borders I've done. This tier 4 is nowhere near enough beating to beat the rest of the game, but trust me, it's decent now with the never miss buff, at least on this map. I should not need any additional help for the ZMG here. That would be pretty embarrassing if I did. Let's see. Uh, yep. Cleans out 80 easily. And for 81, I think I can put this back on smart and only target down here. Because now this lane will be mostly inactive. And at this point on, I think I build, build more overdrives. Alright, now 83, I should put this back in far, because SRAMs. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, I have to watch out for SRAMs leaking over here. Because again, I don't have a good spectory over here. Um, Like, you see that fortified? It's kind of scary if the ace is in the right spot. But I think we're okay to save it. And now, yeah, you're probably wondering, uh, Spectre doesn't work on DTs. How am I going to be DTs? Overdrive doesn't work on DTs either. Unless you have out buff. Well, uh, that's where the ice comes in play. Oh, and bad news. I think I put the village too low this time. So I can't discount my, uh, my ice. Is that fine? I could put it over here, but that's still... Uh, I don't know. Does that decamo every single DT? Because it's not just the range I'm, I'm looking for, or the discounting from the ice. It's also the buffs, the range, attack speed. Okay, I say we worry about that later. For now, I guess I can just get my embrittlement on this on this downside. Wait, wait, wait. How about this? I was thinking about doing a mob glue. And if I just give that count action, then it'll just... It'll slow down enough that this thing works. If that makes any sense. Also, we have to time uh, Gibaldo's uh, shop. Make sure to blow everything in the shop before he hits level 20. Just because if you know already, he gets a nice fat refresh, which is always worth it. I'll just go for my glue now. You see now? In Britomit and two overdraws on each side, cleans out both class balloons easily. And there's enough... The thing with uh, Dark Dungeons, it's pretty long, pretty long extra map. Aside from that blunder, everything else looks pretty good, I would say. I'm gonna blow everything in the shop after the end of this round. And that's perfect, because that means it'll last up to round 98. Not 99, but 98's the hardest round. So use all three Jerry Fires too, right? Yeah, it's a lot of money, but yes, it's worth. I'll do two and one, because I feel like the top right is a little bit harder for whatever reason. 80s are nice and easy. And now the refresh, and you see, it's all back. Yeah, do you see how tiny this range is? Oh boy, that's pathetic. But now with this thing, amazing range. Here they come. Decamoed instantly. Oh yeah, that wasn't even... Well, that was just one of them, but still. Um, I should use all my Jerry Fires now, too. We'll, we'll pretty much make each lane identical, okay? So, a mob glue... Oh, right, oh, I forgot about this round. 91 is scary because, uh... Cerams on this lane. So be careful. Luckily, glue's OP. But regardless, I still have to be careful. This is so scary. I can't tell if a Cerams leak here or not. But I'll use a spike trap now. And please don't die. 
Thanks. All right, this should be... I need to keep remembering to put this... Change targeting. I gotta put it in the back for when lanes are... Bloons are not going on that lane. The only active uh, remaining round is 95. I gotta put, remember to put this back on far. But yeah, believe it or not, this is going to be a tier 5 list strategy for one of the hardest maps. Who needs tier 5s when just a collection of tier 4s do all this destruction, right? So basically, I do have to beat DTs before they get past the Embrittlement, because Embrittlement only decamos or deleds the balloon for like 2 seconds. After that, if it's not popped, then rip me. Uh, watch this, though. Look. Ooh. Um, that's gonna tank, right? Yeah, okay, that's not pretty, though. I probably need... It got decamoed, because you saw the embrittlement, or the yellow neon DT, but I need I need to upgrade to overdrive. And or get spike balls. Spike mines, I mean. I think I just want to get spike mines now. Just to make myself feel better. But now that means we're kind of weak to uh, the middle, because I won't have a, a big spike mine for cleanup. That's fine, because we don't leak DDTs here, or any balloons whatsoever. I think I will... Uh, yep, overdrive time, right? Yes, overdrive. Third over here. Uh, Pickle is good. Pickle lasts 5 rounds, 95 to 99. And I think it's an overall damage increase. And it also increases the Jerry Fire damage, so yes. I would say... Uh, maybe just 2 Pickles? Surely that's enough DT damage, right? Let's see. Uh, should I just use a Spike? Um, sure, why not? They're getting through, but I can take a good amount. Yeah, that's fine. Spike Mines is there. That's also fine, because it's like 1 HP. They are leaking, but I'm not panicking. Nice. Don't forget, I want to get a first strike for round 100. So I can't spend all my money for these rounds. But I think 96 is free to play right now. Genies and will probably be okay, right? But I shouldn't neglect this side too much. That's... All I'm saying, I feel kind of bad only giving one spike mine on one side. Yeah, what a joke. 96. Easy. That's why I didn't get spike, or I guess we don't have ghost spike mines there because, I mean, it's not even close up here right now. Uh, we'll get genie, two of them. So that means I won't have genie because they only last two rounds. I won't have them for round 100. But the play, the hope is there. I get a rejuven for a strike. I can use two of them for 20k damage or... Three of them to insta-kill. So, if I can find space... One genie now. And I'm gonna try to alternate uh, their pattern. Second one right now. Please uh, have a different pattern. Nice. They are... Opposite. Very close opposite. I like this. Creepy idol. Because this lane is scary. Okay, one last Jerry Fire and let's play. We're going. Come on, genies. 90 is so much harder than everything because the ZMD is come on top of the BFBs. That's what makes it hard. So far, two genies is shredding, so I don't think I, 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 I'm not worried. Oh my god, we nuked out the top side. Oh, sorry, the bottom side. Now the top side's kind of scary. But now that's where the genies will uh, help out. Is that right? This will be a first try, I think. Well, it has to be first try. Oh, 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 I forgot. Buy this, buy this. Middle of the round. So I get the cooldown up. And okay, I don't know. I, I was worried. That was so easy. I guess I'll glue or, or something. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Put this up here. Let's use the trap. And oh god, they're going fast. Pause. Are we okay there? There's only one. I think Spike Mines can tank that, right? Yes, yes. Alright. I can't lose now, right? I have enough money for two rejuves and a first strike. Just to be safe though, uh, I'll drop a Spike Trap. Or a Maelstrom Trap. And uh, here we go. For the 69th Black Border. Basically, get 10k damage off right now. Refresh it. Uh, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm allowed to wait, right? Or should I? I don't think I... I don't think I should have done that. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I got this. Trust. I'll even glue back here. First strike. And there it is. Very nice. And clocked in just under four hours of attempts. But that's also not including the uh, prep time. I had to experiment with the strategy, so a lot more than that. I told you, though. Spectre is okay. 600,000 pops, all the other overdrives, uh, a varying amount. And there it is now, our beautiful Dark Border on Dark Dungeons. Yes, I played every other game mode just, just for the 69th Black Border.